Vinyl, sometimes referred to as the mother format, is an analogue music medium that has been around since 1877 and hit its prime in the mid-1950s with no real competition. However, with the advent of cassettes and then CDs, vinyl finally fell and was replaced. Recently though, like a phoenix from the flames, vinyl has made a return. Over the past five years, vinyl has seen a steady increase in sales, taking up 3% of music sales in 2017, which may not seem like a lot, but it is a big increase compared to the 2013 figure, where vinyl only took up 0.7% of sales. Vinyl sales may have gone up, but CD sales have actually decreased by a massive 20% in the last five years, going from 50% to 30% of all record sales worldwide. To get a better idea of how these sales numbers look in real life, we've decided to visit Mr T's record shop in Kidderminster. Mr T's is an Aladdin cave of music with hundreds of different records from 12 inch LPs to 7 inch singles from most bands you can think of, from ABBA to Black Sabbath. We have lined up an interview with the owner of the store to find out a little bit more about the shop's history and how it has lasted so long even when record sales dipped. Yeah, I mean, the history of the shop from 77, Mr T used to sell records up at various discos in the north, Wigan Casino, Blackpool Mecca, and he could often be seen with a table selling records. He worked for GKN, moved down to Kidderminster in 77, mm -hmm. and carried on selling records, but also selling button badges. Um, this went rather well, and he decided he'd rather be selling records and badges than working in the offices at GKN, so we opened the shop up here in 78. Yeah. And within about five years, it turned into what you see now in the shop. It just catapulted from there. And Mr T's Records was also born. So has, has there been a, a change in the client base over the years? Are you getting more older people or more younger people? Yes, we're getting a big shift in different age groups. We've always had the traditional stereotype record collectors and people that have been my age, yeah. right through to people in the 90s we get coming in. What is amazing now that we find is you'll get a 13, 14 year old girl in the shop, she'll pull out a record by Billie Holiday and get really excited saying, look at this, Billie Holiday on vinyl, I've got to have this. 10 years ago you wouldn't have believed anything like that could happen when people were walking around with phones and downloads. Yeah. But now you get youngsters getting excited about vinyl. So would you consider it better than a digital medium? Yes, definitely. What you find with vinyl, we all listen to the ball that come out early on with CDs. CDs are great, this is this, this is that. But upon playing vinyl again at a later stage, there's a warmer feel to the music. Yeah. and it's just so much better. There's something about it. There's a depth and a warmth to it you don't get with CD. Yeah. I liken it to if you were in a disco and you were dancing and listening to the music and you were listening to vinyl, humans would go, this is great. If you've got a room full of robots and computers listening to digital and CDs, they would probably be saying in their artificial intelligence way, oh, this is fantastic, but yeah. it's just so much better for the human ear. Oh, the other thing, plus the fact, of course, with the vinyl, you get something tangible. You can hold a disc. Yeah, so you'd, you'd, rather, you'd rather have something physical that you can pick up and put down, put it on the record player, rather than just putting in your headphones and that's it. Yes, and the youngsters that come in, they like the fact that you've got artwork on the cover. Yeah. You could have a poster in there, you could have a booklet. Yeah. And this one young lass was saying, it's the ritual. She say, you go along the rack and you pull the record off, you take it out the sleeve, you give it a clean, you make sure your stylus is all right, you put it onto the record. She said it's all part of the ritual. Yeah. So based on that, do you think uh, vinyl is making a comeback? Year on year, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's a Express and Star front cover over there from 2013 where they interviewed Mr T back in that day about the resurgence of vinyl and people were saying yes well it'll it'll soon peak and it'll go away well actually it won't I mean that was six years ago and now record store day this year was bigger and bigger than anything before we still get people in January at least 30 new customers every year in January saying I've just had a record player for Christmas yeah. and what we got there's some other lads that come in every Saturday and they each buy a record 
And the one was saying, I'm going to buy this Rolling Stones. And the other one said, yes, I'll get a copy of that. Oh, no, don't get the same as me, get this. And it turns out what they do each week, they go round to each other's houses with the record boxes. Yeah. Dad gets them a bottle of Strongbow cider to share or something. Mum makes the sandwiches and they all play records at each other's houses once a month. Yeah. Go round each other's house. I thought, blimey, this was me 50 years ago. <laughs> and it, it's, it's back in full circle. And yes, it's definitely back. So it looks like the resurgence of vinyl has had a massive effect on businesses such as Mr T's, with there being a rise in young people buying both old vintage albums and new albums from all current artists. Over the past few years, vinyl has started to become the standard again for artists to release their new albums, with some of the, even the best-selling albums on vinyl being new releases, with Divide by Ed Sheeran in 2017, which was in fact the fastest-selling vinyl record in the past 20 years, shifting 13,500 units within the first week and Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino by the Arctic Monkeys in 2018, becoming a close second. We sat down with Luke, who is a young record collector, to find out why he uses vinyl rather than a more modern format. How long have you been collecting records for? I've been collecting records for just under a year now. So why did you start collecting records? Mainly because I just got given a record player, so I was like, I guess I need some records. But it was also like just out of like curiosity, really. But eventually, it just became a new way to enjoy the music I already love. Okay, what do you get out of it? I get to listen to music I've not necessarily had the chance to listen to before because maybe it's on a different format or something. And also, it kind it kind of gives you that collector's fa- factor because unlike CDs, which are pretty gaudy with their like horrid plastic cases, vinyls actually look nice. They they usually come in quite nice sleeves. You can get collectors ones. And they, you they they have that like advantage to them, way. Like, they're, they're collector's items as well as so they look nice on the shelf as well as playing nice and sounding them. Okay, so you'd say that they're a better medium than digital like. Um, undoubtedly, yeah. Uh, like I've listened to the same album on a vinyl and then on a digital, and it's the difference is just night and day. Like in vinyl, you hear it like it's a lot more organic. You hear the music a lot more. Do you have to have a better stereo to listen to it on? Not necessarily. I mean, I don't. The overall consensus is that vinyl is on the rise and is here to stay, for a number of different reasons. But we'll let the collectors tell you that. Yeah, but it's also the sound as well, um, um, so what you play it on. Um, yeah, you get a warmer sound, you know, and um, if you have vintage hi-fi stuff, you know, then you retain that. The sound of the time, yeah, yeah. yeah which is what it's all about. Much warmer. Uh, on decent rigs, there's some decent rigs out there, especially from Richard Settings, if you was to go shopping, like. You can hear, like, the... It almost feels like you're actually there, almost with, like in the recording studio on vinyl. And it's just so much better. There's something about it. There's a depth and a warmth to it you don't get with CD. Yeah. But um, yeah, I've, I've always preferred vinyl. Also with CD, it always has that like tinny artificial sound to it. it it's like subtle, but it, it just adds to the like music listening experience to an extent. But you feel like you own something. Mm-hmm. If you own a record, it's like a possession. Yeah. I've always been a sucker for collectibles and vinyl is really just the collectibles of music. So With the vinyl you get something tangible, you can hold a disc. And it's better to have something in your hands. Yeah. CDs too sterile and you want something, you know, and reading the lyrics. It's just it's just childhood memories yeah. for me. Yeah, I mean did for a long time with CDs and and people were saying yes, well it'll it'll soon peak and it'll go away. I don't think we'll go back to the dark days of the 90s and (laughs) and things not being issued on vinyl. I think them days are over. Back to stay for a while then. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Back to stay. Back for good, yes. Let's take that, say. 